Hi everyone, welcome back. It's been a long time, but yeah, let's say I'm not always super consistent. I think that's my biggest issue. I can't commit. Why? <laughs> In today's video, I will kind of share my thought on trying to learn Dutch. Yes, I think I'm gonna learn Dutch and I will show you how I will try as someone that lives in the country, to learn the language where most natives just speak to you in English. Yeah, I just wanna groove for a bit. Yeah, I love, love, er So, hi everyone. So, as you might know from like my previous video, I was trying to have focus this year on Spanish and also Korean. To be honest, Korean is going fine. Like I took classes, I think that provided me with a sort of structure, which is something that I didn't know I needed. Uh, but I'm really into the default method. And because I really think I've learned the most by immersion learning. And right now, Spanish has kind of fallen. Um, and I'm really considering learning Dutch. So I decided officially, okay, I'm gonna give it a try and I'm gonna try to use first a bit of immersion with vocabs and also with graded reading. I will show you today those two big things that I decided to do. Uh, the first one, I'll probably show you like a picture or something like this of what I bought and basically it's like thousands, no, 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 it's not thousands, like 500, 600, I think it's 600 words. They are like the core word. Um, and they have it, this is like the most used word in that language, but it's not those like super random lists. It's actually super accurate. I think I've used it for Bulgarian, but I made up my own list at the time because the list is available in English. But if you make this, you also, uh, you know, you would just have the word and that's it. Um, but if you buy this little program, it's really cheap. Like, I don't know, I think it's like 20 to 30 bucks, really nothing. You buy it and you get the audio as well. And with Dutch, I really needed the audio. Like, you read something and then, like, I just cannot yet, like, properly read all the sound. So I've tried, started to do that, basically, kind of getting exposure to basic vocab. I realized there is a bit of English, a bit of French, a bit of other language in Dutch. Like, I'm not saying that Dutch is not a language on its own. <sighs> Don't kill me. <laughs> I'm just saying that I kind of hear things here and there. There's like things that I already know what it means. And sometimes Dutch sound familiar. Um, so that helps. That's gonna be my foundation. And then the other biggest part, and it's actually like a few books that I really like in other languages, and it's all about graded reading. Graded reading is super important because it exposes you to grammar, vocab, also expression, the vibe, basically. The only issue that I have with that is that it doesn't come with any audio usually. And a language like Korean or Japanese, when I, I just know how to pronounce it, it's just very, you know, easy um, and overall, right? But with Dutch, it's different, let's say. But anyway, so I will show you like the books that I got. Um, and those are, I think those are the people that usually do those books, right? Uh, for example, there was one from Ollie Richard, he's super known in the industry and he like he edit or I don't know how he does that but for a lot of different language and it's it's super nice, like, I really like it, it's like uh, the one that I read was about like, mm, I can't remember but basically yeah, it's, it's but this is a bit more advanced I think what I will do is like, I started with that one, conversational. Uh, it's kind of, it's really nice because you really have the story here uh, in English, but actually first comes, oh, I should start here. 
So you have the story in Dutch, you read it, da -da 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 -da, and then you have the story uh, in, in English. And actually, it's not even a story, it's just like a dialogue. We have in a new, in a new auto Oh, so hard. So I will start with this one and then I will move on to the other one. Uh, this one is a bit more structure um so it really feels like a you know like like a textbook like it, it feels like we know when you have like at school all those textbooks where it's like one text per like chapter that feels like a master version of it where you get like bigger text uh you don't get the grammar you don't get the exercise you just focus on the text so yeah that's like how i'm gonna try to learn this language like i live in that country for almost four years yeah let's say four years i haven't learned anything like i've been like in a bubble like i really close myself and it's it's my fault like i hate that like i always used to be like oh and i'm living in a country i'm learning the language and this is what i've done in uh macedonia and bulgaria when i lived there like i have learned some like macedonian i was talking with the taxi driver in macedonian and in bulgarian it's not like i had a choice <laughs> that helped maybe oh, but here I, I speak with everyone in english uh even uh when i buy things sometimes they always tell me oh do you want the you know like a bag and i hear it so many times but i still cannot remember when they ask me i'm like what sorry and, and i just want this to stop uh i have other reasons as well professional reasons especially uh i might maybe share one day what i do uh, but yeah this is like the reason why i kind of want to learn um i hope um i can you know update uh, a little bit on that i would like to share a video on how to relearn a language that you already know uh for me that would be spanish uh, and i have like made up like a whole plan for it like i just want to have time to do it and then to show you how i'm doing it so yeah i'll give it a try and i'll keep you updated 